take it back. Let's take it back. What am I talking about? Our self-control, our willpower. Right now, a lot of us struggle with this. We're just all over the place. We're a hot mess. We have no clue what's going on. We find ourselves in a position where like, how did we end up here? A lot of us have no self-control, no willpower. And if we have it in one area of our life, we're grossly lacking it in another. So I'm going to invite you to join me in the Take It Back workshop. Now, this is going to be a free online four-week interactive workshop and I'm doing it right alongside with you so you can look out for my comments in the area where we're the, where we're participating below because this is something that matters to me hi I'm Trudy Behrman of TrudyBehrman.com host of Debt Free Wealth Radio and over here at Profitable Stewardship Inc my goal is to help bread with Christian breadwinners become profitable stewards to become profitable stewards now if you understand the concept of stewardship we're basically managing something and some of us are really poor managers in fact in the story in the bible of the talents there was one that literally had one talent and literally went back to the grave with the talent and said here god here it is here's what you gave me and in the story the master says you should have at least invested it in the bank and got me interest we're under a mandate guys to produce to be not only managers but to be managers who are profitable and those in the story of the sower and the seeds those that did plant on fertile ground some reaped a harvest of 30 60 100 fold we won't all yield 100 fold but we are expected to yield something <laughs> when jesus came across that fig tree that wasn't producing he wasn't really happy guys we're under a mandate to be profitable we need to become profitable stewards and how are we going to do that the first thing we got to do is take it back we got to take back our control you know when jesus went through his 40-day fast <laughs> he was hungry the first thing the devil said is if you're the son of god turn this stone into bread uh does this ring a bell philippians 3 19 they're headed for destruction their god is the belly they're proud of what they ought to be ashamed of since they're concerned about the things of the world we need to have control we need to have our eyes set on the bigger goal and not let the things of this world distract us from the ultimate goal including not selling out our birthright for a for a meal <laughs> okay so guys join me in the take it back workshop we're going to work on self-control or willpower we're going to I'm going to break this down over 4 weeks and it's going to touch on four major areas. The first one is going to be appetite. Duh. <laughs> now as someone who's already lost over 30 pounds, I still have 35 more to go. So this is a key area for me as well. So week 1 we're going to work on appetite. Week two, we're going to work on attitude. Yes, we're going to work on attitude because you know you can control that attitude. Yes, you can. <laughs> or you can choose to be as sweet as pie. It's totally up to you. You can control your attitude. And if you can get that under control, I bet your life will be a whole lot easier in a whole lot of other areas as well. So we're going to control attitude in week number two. We're going to take that back. Week number three is going to be accounting. Yes, we're going to be taking back control of our money. No more victims over here, guys. No more uh, victims of circumstance. Oh, poor me. Well, no, we're going to take it back. Okay. And last but not least is going to be attention. Now, some of you may have ADHD or AHD or whatever those you know acronyms are. But yes, guys, if we aren't flitting, flitting, flitting over here, chasing every little butterfly that comes our way, and we can zero in on what the heck we're here for. Okay, zero in and get such like like Jesus did when when the devil said, "Hey, you know, let's you're hungry, eat bread." He was focused on his bigger and more important goal and not letting the distractions get him. We got to take it back. We got to take back our self control. I hope you'll consider joining me in this four week uh, take it back workshop. Like I said, it's going to be free. It's going to be online. So wherever you are in the world, you have no excuse. Okay, and it's also going to be one week at a time guys i'm making this an excuse free experience an excuse free experience now just because it's free doesn't mean it isn't going to cost you it's going to cost you 
to it's going to cost you to decide and to, to give up everything that you've been hanging on to that is not serving you so you've got to decide if it's going to be worth it it's going to cost you a little bit of your time and uh, it, it may have you give up or lose or set aside some of these things that have not been serving you that you've been hanging on to that you've been oh woe is me poor victim poor victim oh I can't get it done I just don't have any time I d no 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 more of that we're gonna take it back are you willing to join me because I'm ready I got to do this for me too and you will see my responses right there along with yours it's gonna be evergreen guys what that means is that whenever you join us it should be a good time for you. You know, it needs to resonate with you. I may have specific start and end times for certain groups, but that doesn't mean you can't join us. Whenever you find this video, just jump right on in if it's a good fit for you. I hope you'll join me. And at the end of it all, I hope you too will want to be a profitable steward. Trudy Behrman here, super simple to find at trudybehrman.com. Let's rock this thing out. Join me in the Take It Back workshop. More information's on this page.